everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2 Ultimate Farming Routes, the series where I go map by map and show you guys the best route to take in order to pick up every single chest quickly as well as every single boss available on that map for the chance to pick up their legendary or unique drops. Today we're on Tundra Express and the first thing we're going to do when we spawn in is head to the left and run up here because we are going to face our first and only boss of the map really for a chance to get a legendary so right up here is Madame Von Bartlesby and there she is there the big Varkid and she has a chance to drop the legendary SMG the baby makers which uh, is quite a good SMG really there she's dead anyway she hasn't dropped it for us this time so once we kill her no luck, we're going to drop back down to where we just came from and head over this cliff. Now we're going to drop down here and there's a chest down here, a red chest. It's going to warn us not to go down there or we'll be shot. And on the way out as well it'll warn us again, there we go. Just run past it, they won't shoot you. Yeah, you, can't, you are actually allowed to go down there, obviously, or they want to put a chest there. But just don't hang around too long. So once that's done we're going to run right to the other side of the map now and head in towards the mine. There is a side mission obviously where you uh, have to go in here and kill the like the foreman guy of the mine. But the reason we're heading up here, right at the top, is there is a chest up here. So we're going to run up here, again all the way to the end of these conveyor belts. And then at the top of the conveyor belts just going to jump to the left and head down here for another chest. And there we go, and that's pretty much all there is in this area. There is a boss up there, but he doesn't drop anything at all. I've got his name, I think it's Prospector Zeki or something like that. But you can kill him if you want. But without a uh, legendary or unique drop, there is no point really when you're farming quickly. So we're heading right back towards the end now, past the uh, where we go for the end of the line, and we're heading towards this big building here and round the side is a ladder we're going to climb, it's called the Varkid Ranch Observatory and at the top on the roof is another chest so we're going to open that now and then while we're here we need to deactivate a force field which is just there in an electrical fuse box uh, I'm going to north lead it just to uh, there we go, just to open it anyway and there you go, you can see it's unlocked and that's the final thing to do in this map after opening the fuse box the force field is this door here so that's obviously now gone and now all we're going to do is run right to the end follow the arrows and basically just climb halfway up the observatory a couple of boss a um, couple of guys big guys like juggernauts and that's always spawned down here don't know why i got myself stuck there but you can run past them but you might go down eventually like i am now there we go, it's probably easy to clear room first, but I like speed in it. And there's a chest open anyway, nothing great in there. So I'm just going to go and kill the rest of these guys, but that's it anyway. Ultimate farming routes on Tundra Express. A couple of chests, uh, it's quite a big map and quite a lot of running about, but a couple of chests anyway, as well as Madame Bond Bartlesby for the baby makers. Also, while you're here, a lot of people like to... Uh, level up the Varkids and try and spawn the secret boss Vermivorus, the uh, invincible boss, raid boss, but he's very hard to spawn, especially on your own, so make sure you do that with a party. And also check out the annotations at the top of the screen for the rest of the Ultimate Farming Roots videos in a playlist, as well as the Ultimate Weapon Chest Location Guides. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you in the next video.